Instead of going out and using a fish trap to catch fish to bring to the ponds, we're using the fish trap to get the fish out of our pond. Oh my god, look at that! Dude, we got so many! Look at the size of that! That is sick right there. What is going on BFB Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today we're starting things off at the Koi Pond. Now, if you guys remember a few months ago, maybe maybe a month or two ago, we made a video, a fish trap video, and we ended up catching a bunch of baby Paku. I think we caught them in two different videos and all together, I think we have about 10 in the Koi Pond. Now, when we caught them, they were about like this big, very tiny, like that big probably I'd say and over the past month or two they have gotten huge they are like triple the size maybe and I think it's finally time for us to transfer them into the pool ponds in the back I just don't want these guys getting big enough to where they can cause any damage to the other fish or the filtration systems I mean Paku are known for biting wires and this pond is not Paku proofed but the pool pond in the back with Pac-Man our bigger Paku is Paku proofed and I think they would do a lot better in there it's kind of hard to see them right now because of you know it's cloudy outside usually you can only see them in the mornings when the sun is like beaming on the pond but but i think right now they are under the pot right there like alongside the edges we got bruce down there yeah i think they're right next to bruce uh it's hard to see and there's actually an albino in there too i keep forgetting that there's an albino in here too uh he's he's not as big as the other ones are he's probably like doubled in size he's still you know good size i think we're gonna try and catch him out too yeah you can see him down there he's right there he kind of looks like those african cichlids if we do end up catching the african cichlids as well uh we'll end up removing them and putting them into my fish tank just because you know they could cause problems even though they grew up with the koi from when they were like tiny tiny babies they don't cause any trouble but if we do happen to catch them we'll also transport those guys now here is the supplies we got for today to try and catch these guys out we have our fish trap now I'm just noticing that this is the same fish trap that we caught these guys originally in. So hopefully we can catch them twice in this thing. That'd be funny. So uh, yeah, guys, I think the fish trap is probably going to be the best option for catching these guys out. I've been stressing about this video for a couple of weeks now because me and Brandon tried filming this like two weeks ago, but we were using like a, a scoop up net trying to just scoop them around. We were trying to catch the Paku with the net going like this and it, this is just not happening. They are way too fast. I was thinking like maybe we could cast net them, but now I was like, nah, that could damage the other fish. And then I was like, maybe I could catch them out with a hook, a little tiny hook. But then I realized anything I drop in here, all the fish just go up to it and eat it. So it'd be hard to get past the other fish to, to catch the Paku. So I think the fish trap is the best way to do this. I'm gonna drop it down there. I'm gonna give it like an hour or two. And if we do end up catching these guys, boom, that'd be great. And if we do happen to catch some other fish, we could just let them go. No fish will be harmed. Yo, Bruiser. I was thinking I was gonna put them in here, but like, I don't know. I think this is a step down from the Koi Pond for them. They need a, a bigger area. But here we are. We are here at the Paku Pond. Pac-Man's under his little brick, dude. He freaking loves it. He loves that brick so much. He's been eating good. He's getting a lot bigger. He's definitely grown since we got him. Now, if you guys remember, Brandon surprised me with that Tiger Shovel Nose Red Tail Hybrid Catfish. We had him in the Paku Pond, and sadly, a couple days ago, he ended up dying. It's no one's fault. We learned from it, and it's probably not gonna happen again, but basically, the pool lights were on one night. My dad came out one night, and he turned off the lights, and uh, basically, the pond pumps and everything is connected to the same outlets. And when he turned off the pool lights, everything turned off out here and he didn't know. So the fish for one whole night, there was no filtration, no circulation, and the catfish ended up dying. But thank God, Pac-Man survived and so did the bass. Speaking of the bass, here's Andy right here. What's up, bro? Andy has been being a little bit tough to train. I'm gonna be honest. The peacock is just sitting under the fountain. He just sits under there all day. We're close, we're close to training them. I've been throwing lizards in there and they've been a little bit interested. So soon, hopefully, We'll have them jumping out like Randy and Brandy. So anyways, guys, enough talking. You guys get the points. We're going to head up front now, set up the fish trap. Hopefully this works. Let's go ahead and grab the tilapia. Where is the fish trap? There it is. Okay. Let's take this. I think we're going to just dump the whole thing in. Eh, maybe I'll cut it in half. Dump that in. It's going to sit there like that. We'll zip it on up. This is my favorite fish trap. This thing like always works. It's my best one for sure. Uh, they're, they're by that pot, but I think I'm going to just throw this thing in the middle. There we go. All right, that looks good right there. It's actually perfect because the tilapia floated right to the center there. So when they're sniffing that tilapia, the hole's going to be right there. It's going to be easy for them to find their entrance. Well, we're going to leave that for a couple hours. It's only about 2 o'clock right now. So uh, we got some time. And uh, yeah, hopefully 
we get the Paku. And even if we do catch any of the other fish, I think that'd be cool. Cause it's not gonna harm them. We can just release them, but we will be able to, you know, see them out of the water. We've put so many fish in there over the years. We have iridescent sharks in there. We have like a rope fish. This is funny though. It's a, it's a big switch up. Instead of going out and using a fish trap to catch fish to bring to the ponds, we're using the fish trap to get the fish out of our ponds. We already got some action. Look at that. And all those little fish down there eating the tilapia. All right, I'm gonna get out of here so these guys are comfortable swimming in there. Oh, look at the goldfish. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Oh, we might catch everything in the pond with this. Everything is surrounding it. Oh my God, the little, the little orange fish we put in there the other day is in there. Look at them. Well, now that we're doing a little update on everything, let's update you guys on this little pond here with our, there they are. Oh, I just saw one with our little guppies, mollies, whatever they are. Come on guys. We got some Dalmatian mollies in here, and I think they're called tequila. Oh, there's one. Oh, there they are. <laughs> that fish is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I really want to go out and catch more of them. Look at the colors on them. Man. Oh, there's the other one. <laughs> What's up, guys? Where the Dalmatians at? Oh, there's one over there. Oh, all three of them. We got the whole squad. Oh my God, get over here. Hey, what are you doing in there? Hey, no, no, you're not going back in there. This is not okay. This is my filter. You guys have spotted this guy out in so many videos and I finally got him. I'll be making a video and you guys will be like, did anyone else see that frog? <laughs> it's time to check the trap. I'm here at the Koi Pond. It's been about two hours. I came out here like 30 minutes after I placed the trap and I saw the cichlids trying to get in there. So I don't know if they found their way in there. I do see one light colored fish in the trap. I don't know if it's the albino paku or a cichlid because they're the same colored, but the tilapia is gone, I think, like most of it. It looks like it's eaten up. I can't, see, oh, I just saw an orange fish swim out of there. I'm gonna be honest though, I don't see anything. I We did get the albino paku. I see the albino paku. I don't see the others though. All right, we're just gonna pull it up. Oh, oh my God. We did get them. Holy crap. Oh my God, look at that. Dude, we got so many. Oh, check that out guys. It actually worked. I didn't see them in there because they're so dark. We actually got most of the Paku, I think. Look how big they are. Oh my gosh, I was not prepared for this. I gotta fill up a bucket. Let's fill up this little bucket for now. Hold on, guys. Oh my God, look at them. Hang on, guys. All right, let's just grab them one at a time. Paku are hardy fish, so they'll be all right. Oh my God. Look at the colors on these guys. They're literally triple the size, if not like quadruple. That is insane. Oh my God, look how big that one is. Yo, that is so sick. I don't even know how many we got. It looks like we got most of them, if not all of them now. This one is freaking huge. Oh my God, look at the size of that, dude. Here's the albino. That is sick right there. Wow, what a beautiful fish. And it looks like we got one more. Come on, mister. That's a big one too. Wow. Oh my God, they've been eating good in there. So that was the plan. You know, when we first put these guys in here, we put them in here because I knew since the koi pond is so healthy and like natural and there's just everything in here, it's its own pond really. It's just a very healthy pond. So anything I put in here, just grows like a weed and oh my god that is just insane look at that we let's let's count them one two three four five six seven we got seven i don't know the exact number um of how many were in the koi pond but i think we got most of them i mean that is a lot right there look at them all huddled up together <laughs> they are so cool when i first caught them i wasn't 100 percent if they were red belly pakus just because they were you know tiny and their colors weren't so bright but wow that is crazy. Okay, we're gonna take these guys over to the pool pond and uh, put them in their new home. All right, guys, we are here at your new home. Look at them. They are so cool. I freaking love Paku. Red belly Paku are so cool. 
Let's pick one up. Let's get a good look at him. Look at that. Look at that fish, dude. That is so cool. Seven Paku. I just can't get over how big they've gotten. The albino Paku hasn't gotten as big, but he's like doubled in size. Wow. Look at that. That is so cool, dude. All right. Since it's all the same water, same temperature, we're just gonna dump the bucket in here and uh, give these guys a nice little release into the new pond. Seven new Paku. There they go. There's the albino. Oh, there they all go! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, they are so cool, dude, schooled up like that. Oh, they're going in there with Pac-Man. <laughs> Let's see how Pac-Man reacts to it. Pac-Man's probably like, what the heck just happened? Look at that. They're chilling under there. So probably tomorrow I'm gonna get some more bricks and make another little hut. Probably like right here or right there. Just for the little ones uh, to hide out. That is a success, guys. The fish trap worked perfectly. We didn't catch any other fish. I think the koi may have been a little too big to go in there. Oh, look at them. They're on the move. Yeah, I think the koi and the other fish may have been a little bit too big to go into the fish trap, so the Paku were the perfect size. So yeah, guys, this really is the Paku pond now. We got, what, eight Paku in here now. It's all Paku proofs. I got the tubing there so they can't bite any of the wires, and over there, the wires are not exposed. Still need to get some more rocks to cover it, I know. So yeah, guys, that'll do it for today's video. I don't know if we caught all the Paku out of there, but I'll make sure in the next couple days, and if we didn't get them all, we'll do a part two to this and get the rest of these guys in here with the rest of them. But uh, yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.